Hey, my name is Brett and I go by the Real Estate Cowboy here in Portland. Uh, today, I'm gonna be going over a market report, kind of going over uh, November's data that was just released here in the beginning of December. If you like the content, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any buying or selling needs, please reach on out. I love to be the one who shows you some value and helps you out. All right, so essentially the, the first thing that we're gonna look at on this market report is right over here, uh, the total listed versus the total sold. And so we can see right here, there's about 4,000 listed and about 3,000 sold. And that means about 71% of these listed units actually made it to um, to sale. And so on, that's not really all that great. Um, you know, I've done some market reports for, you know, Westland, Lake Oswego, Beaverton, and uh, their sales rates uh, are a little bit higher than, than Portland right here. Um, another thing too that I'm seeing is the 2.5 months of inventory right here. And when you compare that also uh, to some of the other areas, uh, Beaverton's inventory is 1.5 months. Uh, Lake Oswego is 1.9 months. Gresham is 1.4 months. And West Lynn is 1.3 months. And so we are kind of seeing the inventory starting to stack up a little bit more in Portland. And we are also essentially seeing uh, that lower percentage of homes going into sale 71%. Coming on down here, um, we can see that there are less units coming onto the market, but yet there are more units available. So less people are listing their houses, less as homes are being sold. And so even though, you know, not as many people are listing, because the sales aren't going through as much, the inventory is rising. Next chart we're gonna look at right here is the average price per month. And uh, I love this graph right here. You know, here in the yellow, it can show you the list price. And then over here in the red, it can show you uh, the sold price. And I mean, really what we're kind of seeing right here is, uh, you know, over here in the summer months, you can see that the deviation between uh, the yellow and the red is pretty tight. September, you can see that, you know, there was a huge price reductions coming off of these houses right here with the sold price being dramatically lower uh, than the list prices. And then over here, it's kind of tightening up a little bit, um, but you can still see, you know, right here in the month of November, uh, there was an average of 11.3% reduction in the sale price. So um, whatever the list price was, people in Portland were typically coming off of that list price about 11.3% to get these houses sold. Coming on down here, uh, the average days on the market. And I mean, you can see right here, I mean, starting essentially like, look at this, like essentially in June right here, July, August, September, October, November, all progressing upwards. And so right here in August, we'll start in August, uh, 38 days to get a sale. So 38 days on the market. September right here, 43 days. So list, 43 days, sold. October, 47 days. And now right here in November, we are looking at 55 days. And so if you are planning on listing your house, I mean, plan on waiting about 55 days uh, before, you know, you're going to actually close uh, on that listing. Or, you know, if you're buying a house and you're kind of looking at, uh, you know, something, just know that, you know, these houses are typically taking uh, about two months be before they're, they're selling. Coming on down here, you know, we have essentially some stats uh, you can obviously pause the screen and kind of take a look at this a little bit more. But right here, we have the average sold price, the average list price, the days on the market right here that we kind of went over. And I mean, right here, you can kind of see, like, look at that right there, May. Uh, was that June, July? I mean, this is just creeping up 25, 35, 38, 43, 47, and now 55. 
I mean, that slow, slow creep upward. And average listed price, um, so 813, 822, 783, uh, 894. I mean, those are staying pretty consistent, you know, right there. Um, let's check out the sold prices though. So sold 774, 776, 714, 702, and now 720. So even though that those list prices are kind of staying consistent right there, um, you can see that these sold prices are, you know, starting to, to drift down, which, uh, you know, in my opinion, we are kind of entering into that buyer's market. You know, um, I'm hearing a lot more uh, bring the offer, you know, that you have, you know, we're just essentially open to, to hearing any offers at this point in time. So, you know, if you are a buyer, I hope that this information, you know, helped you a little bit kind of understand uh, some of the power that you have in the current market. And then also, you know, if you are a seller, hopefully this information right here can mind me, you know, set some expectations uh, for yourself, you know, on, you know, how far off your, your list price you want to come and how, you know, a reasonable expectation is how long, you know, you think that. Um, you're going to get a sale after you you list your home. But I hope you did find value in the video today. Um, if so, please reach on out. I'd love to help you with any of your buying or selling needs. Uh, my name is Brett. I go by the Portland Real Estate Cowboy. And I hope you all have a good afternoon and a good time navigating these current markets.